So I was monetized last year in May and on May 24th, that is when I made my first $1.74 with YouTube. And so I put 365 days. At the time of recording, it is July 30th, but I wanted to show you my one year of being monetized results. For me to get monetized, it took me 75 videos and one year and seven months. And since then it has been one year and two months. And so my entire YouTube journey has been around 2.5 years. And I have to say this journey has not been easy. So before my channel really blew up, I was making like $1, $2, $3 a day. But after blowing up, I would say right now, my average is around 40, 50, $60 a day. At the beginning of this year, it was a lot higher. This was when my channel was like getting a lot and a lot of views, but now it has like gone down to like a stable like baseline. So I will explain later what exactly happened in this like blow up phase. But first I want to go over like RPM, CPM, like other analytical stuff. So let's look at RPM and CPM first. Oh yeah. And then here you can also see the breakdown of what I earned every single month. So my average RPM for this entire year was around almost $10. RPM is revenue per mil. It is how much money you've earned per 1000 video views. This is like how much money I'm actually getting. CPM is cost per 1000 impressions. This is how much the advertisers like companies are spending to put ads on my YouTube videos. And the ad revenue on YouTube is, I think it is 55 and 45. So I get 55 of what, what, uh, what companies pay. So this is like my average RPM, but the CPM and RPM really depend on the video. Oh, I did find my average CPM. It is 2363. The side hustles video has a really high CPM is like $30. My first month on Etsy is $24. Then third month on Etsy, 23, 23. I mean, these are all 20 something. This one had a higher one, $31. What it's like blowing up for the first time on YouTube, a lower CPM, $15. This is really interesting. Ooh, I think this is the highest CPM so far. Where and how to sell greeting cards. And then, yeah, my CPMs are usually like $15 to $30. Oh, actually, this one has the highest. <laughs> how to invoice clients. Okay, the more self-development ones are like $10 CPM. The lowest one here, six easiest ways to make money with calligraphy. I mean, that is a businessy video, but maybe because the quality of the video is so bad, that's why the CPM is low, I don't know. And then if we're looking at how much I made from videos versus shorts from videos I made 11,000 which is pretty much all of the AdSense that I've made and from shorts nine dollars that is so sad shorts revenue is just so bad like you should not be relying on shorts uh, if you want to make money on YouTube unless you're getting like millions and millions and millions of views but still like shorts revenue compared to like long-form video revenue is like you just cannot compare the two for those of you who are interested in starting a YouTube channel I have this free Google Docs start Start your YouTube checklist and video outline template. $14,600. So that is like my entire lifetime of being monetized. It's around 14,000. Okay, I wanna address this part first. Like why did it go lower? So I actually think like when channels, actually I'm not sure if this is like entirely true, but this is just what I think happened to my channel. My channel obviously did really, really well at the beginning of this year. And then it did like well until like March-ish and then it started going down. Now I didn't really change anything. Like I kept on posting consistently one video a week. I wasn't really posting shorts at that time. I, you can actually see here, like I started posting a lot more shorts because I wanted to get this back up, but posting shorts didn't really do anything to my revenue or like subscriber growth. So what I think actually happened is like this blow up phase of mine just kind of quieted down. Like it just settled down. And this is like my new baseline. When this kind of happened, I was kind of bummed about it, but I think this is totally normal. And also I'm not trying to make all of my income from YouTube ads. I have multiple income streams. I truly believe my channel will get bigger this year again. So I'm not too worried about this quiet period of time in my revenue. So now I wanna talk about what exactly happened here when I was like starting to blow up. And I also wanna give you some tips for how you can grow your channel and how you can potentially blow up as well. And I guess when I say blow up, I'm using like these air quotes because I didn't go like, 
super, super, super viral, but it was enough for like my channel to really get bigger in a significant way. So I always use the term blow up. So when I started my YouTube channel, I was posting mainly videos about how to make money with calligraphy. It is super duper niche. I had no experience with making videos, editing or anything. So my videos were honestly like just so bad at the beginning. So I understand why my videos never took off. And at the beginning, I didn't want to be a super big YouTuber when I started my YouTube channel. It was more just to supplement my blog that I had on my calligraphy website. After a year of working on my YouTube, I thought, okay, I don't want to just talk about calligraphy. I actually want to expand more into general business stuff. And so I did make more general business videos. And then it wasn't until like a year later in like 2022. So last year, uh, mid year, I really decided to be committed to YouTube. I had like a whole midlife crisis in my business because I was doing mostly the calligraphy stuff at the time. And I knew that I didn't want to do calligraphy forever. I basically made this huge pivot in my business. And I said, I'm not doing the calligraphy stuff anymore. I'm not going to run my coaching business anymore. I just want to make content because that has been my dream. I've always wanted to be a blogger and I already have had this YouTube channel for two years. I'm just going to use my YouTube channel as my blog and use it to share my experiences and document my journey and everything. So it was last year that I was like, okay, I'm going to focus on YouTube 100%. So this leads into my first tip, which is know that you are meant to do this. I think anyone can start a YouTube channel, but I think the people who really are successful are the ones who know that they're meant to do this. They are meant to share something with the world. I really think when I had this shift in my mindset that like, oh, I'm going to do this, like I'm meant to do this. That is when I started to put like a different kind of energy into my videos. And I think this was a big factor in why my YouTube started to grow. My next tip for you is to be yourself in your videos. If you go watch my first couple of videos, I was just so unnatural and not like myself. I was trying to be somebody I was not. I feel like it took me two years to get comfortable with talking in front of the camera. When I decided to go all in on YouTube last year, I was at that point where I was way more comfortable with being in front of the camera and I could really show my personality. And I think that is also another factor that led me to get bigger on YouTube. The reason I, why I got bigger was the Etsy videos that I posted, but there are actually a lot of people talking about Etsy. And the reason why I think I grew so fast was yes, because of the Etsy videos, because the niche, it's like a super hot niche, but I also think people follow me for the, my personality and just like the way I make videos. So I always knew that I wanted to be more myself in my videos. And I knew that if I could be myself, then I can have like more of a connection with my audience. <laughs> this is like the second video I'm making today. So my, sorry, my throat is kind of hoarse. And a sub tip that I have for this main tip of being yourself is to really take care of your own energy because there was a time along my YouTube journey where I was surrounded by people who really, I felt like they suppressed me and I couldn't be myself. And I think that totally showed in my videos. So after I let those people go, I actually felt like I could be more myself in my videos. So it was around that time that I let these people go that I started to work on my Etsy shop. And then I made the video about <laughs> starting the Etsy shop. And that video that initially made me blow up is is my first month on Etsy results. So my next tip for you, and this is really hard to predict, but in hindsight, it was like the right topic, the right niche. And I had a unique take on this kind of video because around that time I was kind of throwing spaghetti at the wall with my YouTube channel and just making a lot of different kinds of videos, like pet sitting videos, personal development videos. I was just making videos all over the place. I didn't know what my niche was. So I was kind of just doing everything and just seeing what worked. And so definitely a reason and why my channel got bigger was because it was the right topic. When I made the video, like I had this unique take on it and I shared my true results of my first month on Etsy, which like I made 10 sales and I was like, oh my God, I don't even know if I should make this video, but let me just make it anyways. Cause whatever, I'm just, <laughs> my YouTube is not like working anyway. So might as well try it. And a lot of people actually really appreciated this more realistic Etsy business owner kind of video where it felt very relatable and attainable. Yeah, so that is basically what happened here. This was this Etsy video is what made this part spike. And then I actually, there was another
another video that did really well and that was the I finally blew up video which uh, so those two videos were the ones carrying my channel and every time I posted a new Etsy update video like that update video would also do well that was this initial like huge spike here like I think I had maybe three Etsy update videos and then the blowing up video was also doing well and my whole channel is just doing well my next tip for you is especially if you have been consistent with your YouTube and you are not seeing the results that you're getting I want you to just envision it and believe that it's gonna happen and have faith because I truly believe things are happening but we, we, we just sometimes we can't see right like a lot of the times we're working and you feel like you are not making progress but actually there's a lot of stuff while you are working quietly on your YouTube and not seeing a lot of progress you are building up your skills you are becoming more confident you are showing up more authentically and you are getting better at doing your thumbnails and writing your video outlines and making your titles and everything so all of this work will compound together and then like all of a sudden it's just gonna happen so actually last year when I was in a really low place with my YouTube journey I journaled so much about struggling with YouTube and at that time I had like let go of people who I felt were suppressing me and like really really being consistent with my work and my energy le levels were just so good I really felt like something would happen by the end of the year in 2022 and actually the first video that blew up I posted it on December 24th and on December 28th that is when it started to take off the next tip that I have for you is more of a strategy kind of tip and that is to make videos it doesn't have to be all videos but there should definitely be some videos that are like YouTube search friendly there's basically two kinds of videos there's the kind where you make it for YouTube search it is a video like how to start an Etsy shop in 2023 it's something that people would go into the YouTube search bar and search it because they're looking for specific information the other kind of video is more like the video where you are trying to get recommended on the YouTube homepage and those are like the more clickbaity titles you see like you'll never believe this happened dot 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 no one's gonna search that right in the YouTube search those ones would be more like optimized to like get people's attention on the homepage so my strategy for growing my channel has always been YouTube search because I know it works and actually what I've noticed in my analytics let me just show you these are the videos um, in the last 48 hours that are doing really well like getting the most views the ones that have consistently gotten me views in the last two and a half years are my YouTube search optimized videos like not the Etsy update videos actually the Etsy update videos do well for a certain period of time and then they just kind of die off but the ones that are doing really well how to start an Etsy shop selling digital products in 2023 this one is getting consistent views 15 side hustle ideas that one was optimized for search too this one is getting super duper consistent views this one I just posted about two weeks ago but I already know this one is going to get super duper consistent views so for example if you just look at the analytics for this one the how to become a freelancer most of the views are from YouTube search now see 78% in the last 48 hours so although the video did average when it was released look at it climbing above the gray area now so now it is doing better than average this is the video that helped me get monetized this one always got consistent views like 300 to 400 views every 48 hours for like the past two years i wanted to make this video to show you what is realistic and really encourage you to keep going if you are on this journey of being monetized or if you are on the journey of growing your youtube channel after being monetized for me it was honestly such a struggle this entire youtube journey but i'm so happy now that i'm on the other side and it has been funding my dream and if you're looking for more inspiration or motivation to keep going watch this video next because i talk about how i achieved this dream and this is like the whole backstory talk about in this video.